Now it's long been thought that lifting heavy was the way to go for strength, for power, uh, for body composition. And we know that in research that this has changed over, over time. We know that certainly for body composition, for muscle mass, that you can train light, you can train moderate, you can train heavy. It doesn't really matter as long as you're kind of matching the volumes and stuff. But it's been thought that, you know, for strength, because of specificity, you've got to kind of go heavy to obviously enable this. And this makes perfect sense. And there is certainly evidence that does support this. But what about in newbies, in novice lifters? Well, there was a study on in novice lifters. So they had one group doing between five to seven repetitions and the other group were doing double the amount, which was between 10 and 14 repetitions. They were training three times a week. They were doing this for nine weeks they basically matched their volume. So obviously, you know, we had to get double the amount of work done uh, in terms of, uh, you know, volume amounts for the group who were in the smaller repetition range, just to match them equally. Because that would be always the key, especially when it comes to certainly building of muscle and body composition changes. And that's what they looked at. They looked at strength, they looked at power, they looked at body composition, they looked at cross-sectional area. Uh, and guess what they found? No differences. So this highlights that basically, you can train how you want when you're new. You will respond, even if it's for strength-based purposes. So you don't need to lift super heavy. And in fact, it's probably ill-advised. You know, if your body's not used to it, your technique may not be so good. You might, um, you'll get more muscle protein synthesis for a longer period of time. So you don't need to train as often and as hard to get the same bang for your buck. You know, and also you need progression. So if you start with super heavy, you're gonna to struggle to make as much progression because naturally you can't just progress, 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 progress forever. When it comes to lifting heavy, you'll run out of weight because you'll, otherwise you'll be breaking the world record very quickly. Whereas if you started light uh, or lighter with therefore higher rep ranges, then um, you've always got somewhere you can move even without actually having developed an awful lot. Um, so this is something which is very useful to know about because a lot of people think, right, I want to get strong, uh, I want to build muscle, I want to get more powerful, so I'm going to have to get heavy weights. But it doesn't have to be super heavy. Obviously, there's still going to be some heaviness to it because, you know, at the end of the day, doing 10 to 14 repetitions is not necessarily light, but it isn't like the same as a five to seven repetition range. So anyway, I thought I'd bring this one to your attention, uh, but that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.